Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create an awesome camouflage text effect from a photo. I provided a Photoshop file so you can follow along. It includes this photo which you can replace with your own and an image of parchment paper. Its link is in my video's description below the video or in my project files. The document is 1342 pixels by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, click that small subscribe button at the lower right to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. Hide the paper texture and make the photo active. Make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Hide the copies and make the original active. Click the new layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the empty layer with 50% gray. To do this, press Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the fill window. You could also go to Edit and Fill. Click 50% gray. Make the first copy visible and active. The next step is to make a selection around the subject that you want to be camouflaged. In this case, I'll choose to make a selection around the woman. Open your Quick Selection tool and drag it over the inside of the subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. To check your selection, press Q to see it as a quick mask. Then revert it back into a selection by pressing Q again. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Next, we'll create a displacement map of the subject we're going to camouflage, which we'll use to wrap our text around it. First, we'll make a composite snapshot of our visible image by pressing alt Control shift e on Windows or Option-Command-Shift-E on a Mac. We'll remove the color, which is also called desaturating, by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Displacement maps look best when they're slightly blurred, so go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it two pixels. Click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Duplicate Layer. Click New and type in Displacement. Notice it created a brand new document. Go to File and Save As. Save it to your desktop for easy access as a Photoshop PSD document and click Save. If you see this message, just click OK. Open back your document. We can delete the black and white composite snapshot since we already created a displacement map from it. To delete it, either press the delete key on your keyboard or drag it to the trash can. We'll desaturate this layer and change its blend mode to soft light. Drag the paper texture below the background copy too and make it visible. Change its blend mode to overlay. We'll make a new layer below the paper texture by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. In this empty layer, we'll place our text. Find a block of text that expresses the sentiments of your image and cut and paste it into any Word application such as Microsoft Word or WordPad. Make sure there are no breaks in the lines of text. Drag your cursor over it all to highlight it or you can press control or command A. Press Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Minimize it and open your horizontal type tool. Open your type picker and pick a font. I'm using MT Matto Script. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. I'll make its size 36 points. However, feel free to adjust this amount. Its aliasing can be whatever you want. However, make it left alignment. Place your cursor at the upper left corner or near it 
and drag it across near or at the lower right corner. When you release, the default lorem ipsum text will appear. Press Ctrl or Command V to replace it with your text. Press Ctrl or Command V again until your text fills the text block. To adjust the space between lines, also known as leading, double click the large T of your text layer to highlight all of your text, and click the character paragraph icon or go to Window and Character. In the Character panel, go to the Leading's scrubby slider and drag it to the left or right. If you want to make your text look bolder or thicker, click the bold icon. Click the color box and in the hexadecimal field, type in 160C04, which makes our text a very dark brown color. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. We can close the character paragraph panels now and click the check mark at the top to accept the text. Next, we'll wrap our text around our subject using the displacement map we saved earlier, but before we do, we'll convert our text into a smart object. This allows us to modify it non-destructively. Click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. The horizontal and vertical scales are 15, Stretch to Fit, and repeat edge pixels. Find and click your displacement PSD document that you saved earlier and click Open. Notice our text wrapped itself around the contours of our subject based on the tonal values of the subject. Make the top photo visible and active. Open your Quick Selection tool and drag it over the other subject to select it. We'll refine its edges by going to Select. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2015.5, click Refine Edge. If you're using CC 2015.5 or later, click Select and Mask. If you prefer to use Refine Edge, shift click Select and Mask. I did in-depth tutorials on both of these filters, so if you'd like to watch them, I provided their links as well. Check Smart Radius, which detects smooth and hard edges. Drag the radius a bit to the right. If you want to feather soft edges like hair, just drag your tool over those edges. Check Decontaminate Colors, which prevents color fringing along the edges of your subject. I'll drag the amount to 100%. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask. Lastly, we'll add a drop shadow. Double click the top layer to open its layer style window. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is multiply, the color is black, and the opacity is 30%. The angle is 32 degrees, the distance is 40 pixels, the spread is 0%, and the size is 35 pixels. The contour is linear. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.